what's up everybody it's your boy cash the safe we here on quarantine radio superstar quarantine radio episode nine we got a new co-host your boy will say what's up to him man Yeah, it's real true. Your boy Will is a real player. He don't have to speak up in the mic, but he a real player. He a real boss, man. When you fuck with niggas like this, you in the big leagues. When you go to the club, you always got a section. Why? Because niggas always got money, bro. I put that on Bloods. I put that on Crips. I put that on everything. We keep the peace and the unity. Shout out Israel. Shout out Israel. Man, Israel... I don't know what to say about Israel, but that shit crazy how they doing, how they doing it, but it's love, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of love out there, and we love Israel so much, we won't even quote them when they wrong, so right to get into it, yeah, um, is there anything you want to talk about, Will? Yeah, yeah, I stand with Israel. I stand with Israel, too. Damn, with Israel. He got his flag. He waving his flag. You can't see him, but we on FaceTime right now. He's ready to look. The Israel flag. No offense to the Palestinians, because the Palestines are, you know. The Palestinians. Yeah, it, it, it goes both ways. You know, we got love for, for everybody on this earth. We just want to promote peace. Right, right, Will? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, my brothers and sisters, my kings and queens, we gather here today to bring peace in America and promote peace in America. Will, what you think about, what do you think about the Asian hate crimes? I don't stand with it. I don't stand with it either. I don't stand on nobody hating and promoting violence. That's the bottom line. I can't stand people that promote violence. I think war is primitive and that there's other ways you can solve your problems and differences. But then you get into war and you start losing family members, friends, and associates, and it just becomes so much more personal and you want to kill so much more. Right, right, right. So what do you want to tell the people, Will? What's, what's going on with you in Israel? As an American, I stand with Israel. Um, Definitely. True American bullies, shit. Palestinians trying to be bullies, so. Cut this shit out. Yeah, I'm tired of Israel being bullied, but I rep for Israel too, because that's the motherland. That's that's the sacred realm. Jerusalem. It's just going back and forth with Syria, Palestine, Israel. China always one step ahead of everything, and it's crazy. But I really want us to work out our differences. I know 21 Savages said um, I could get shot for trying to mediate the beef, but you know, if I could mediate the beef between Palestine and Israel, I would do that and so much more. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what, did you, what did you learn about the Israel? Well, I read the book of Revelations when I was, like, real young, so I already knew this was going to happen. And I used to tell my teachers, Armageddon is a valley in the Middle East. And they used to tell me, shut up, no, it's not. That's not what Armageddon is. And then I would point to it on the map, and they would feel stupid. So, so, you know what I'm saying? What did that have to do with Well, I'm real proud of Israel right now because they had ceasefire with the Hamas. And with the ceasefire, that means we do have some hope for peace. And if there's hope for peace, there's hope for unity, peace and justice. You can let bygones be bygones. Right. So just to get right into it, 735 million an arms sale to Israel must be expedited, says the Republicans. They say, we got to give them the arms that they need. Bernie Sanders blocking arms sales to Israel. How long would that last? Right. 
So that's what I'm asking you. What do you want to touch upon, Will? What do you feel about the Palestinian kids that are dying due to the missiles and some of the violence that's going on over there in Palestine? I want it all to stop. I mean, I, I feel bad for kids that get hurt doing war. Definitely. You know, I want it all to stop. Definitely. It's that such works. a sad tragedy that things have to turn out like this and we have to go to war as countries. And it just seems like no matter where you look, we in the end times. There's always a prophecy being revealed. We got bugs migrating, animals turning against humans. It's just like the book of Revelations. Yeah. So, so, go ahead, Will. I mean, I mean, it's all in God's hand, man. We just on God's time, so we don't figure it out whether you believe in God. I Do you really think God can help us out in this position? Or do you think God is from Nibiru and is basically an alien that breathed a breath of life into us and dipped off on a spaceship, not really caring about us or what manifests here on Earth? No, I believe that there's a God. I don't believe there's an alien that breathes. Are you familiar with the, the story of Nibiru? Basically, it states that there's Ptah, like some of the Egyptian gods. Um, there's Anu, Anubis, and a couple of other um, gods that came here down to earth and basically were mining for gold. And as they were mining for gold, they basically created us as robots to restore their planet from some of the volcanic um, disasters that have taken place. And it's very unfortunate, I find, that um, people support Israel so much. We're still on air. It, it just called me back because oh, we got disconnected. It's a whole story. I got to send it to you. I, I, I won't be able to break it down to you in this podcast. But there, there's a philosophy about how people came from Nibiru to restore their planet from volcanic um, disruption and disasters, which was basically a lot of dust. And they needed gold, so they built us as robots and a new breathed the breath of life into us so we could build we could basically mine the gold for them so they could take it back to their planet and they dipped on us. I believe the sun has something to do with God, but I just think, you know, if, if I try to follow the wind in any direction, it's not going to lead me anywhere. Think of this. How, how does the sun stay burning? Scientists tell you that it's gas and, and it's all this other stuff. It's a supernova. But, but if you ever play with fire as a kid, I, I was a pyromaniac as a kid. Listen, I'm just saying this. Just think about this. Every time we play with fire, right? Everything has a lifespan. The sun has a lifespan. It's not going to burn forever. In the Matrix, they nuked the sun. They, they bombed the sun. And they, they put us in machines where we were basically batteries to the computers that we use. They were plugging us into the wall after they nuked the sun and using us as an energy source. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen or when that's going to happen, but I know we have very short time to fix all the wounds on Earth. And I, I really am bringing it back to promoting peace and trying to meditate and mediate the beef between Israel because Israel is being a bully and Palestine is being a bully. So and have you heard about this war in Ethiopia? Um, fill me in. Um, apparently, it's millions and millions of people dying just like in, in Israel. It's a war in Ethiopia going on too, where you know tragedy struck them too as well. So send out prayers to the Ethiopian people. My 
much prayers to the Ethiopian in the name of Christ. Yeah. See, a lot of people get mad. They get mad when talking about religion. They get mad when people start talking about Jesus Christ. Why? Because Jesus Christ was force fed to us like a big cock sausage in our mouth by the white man. And that's not the end of it, though. Yeah, we were force fed a God that we never knew and we had our own gods beforehand. But that doesn't take away, that doesn't mean Jesus Christ isn't real. Just because it was forced upon you and your culture. Credible source in history. Yeah. yeah. So, a lot of people say they try to take that from the Egyptian gods with Osiris and Sekhmet or Hathor basically took Osiris's DNA and made like some of the first clones back in ancient times and recreated his DNA and basically cloned him and put him into a body. So, yeah, back, back to the Ethiopian people, right? History repeats back. itself. So go ahead. I'm sorry. So back to the Ethiopian people. Ethiopians. Ethiopia. Shout out to everybody that's in pain. I, we're really hurting as a, as a world on earth right now. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Superstar Quarantine Radio want to say a quick prayer real quick for Superstar Quarantine Radio. This is episode nine. For the world that is out there, let there be abundance. Let us fill the ignorant minds with brilliant prosperities. Let us build together away from primitive war. Let us build together away from hating each other. And let us all love each other and become one unity one nation under God. And let us, let us pray that the peace will come because I know the love will come, but will the peace come with the love? That's what we need to get down to, the peace and love in the world and stop all these hate crimes and stop all this injustice, corruption, and violence towards one another because we are all brothers and sisters, <clears throat> kings and queens. Amen. I like that, brother. I like that prayer so much, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Definitely. We're going to get into the music right now. We got a nice jam for you. We got some nice jams for you. Okay. Tell them what's up, Will. We signing out. Uh, are we signing out? What kind of music? What, what, before we sign out, what music is you playing for? You I'm playing, playing for? my music. I, I'm a producer. I got some instrumentals. I got some songs with me rapping it over. Like, I got so much music in my database, it's crazy. I could just pick through random songs. Okay, okay. Well, well listen, I want the people to know before we end this podcast. Yep. You know that. Yep. Great, yep. You're a great person. I love the music. You know, I can't wait to hear you uh, on the podcast this evening. Yep. You know, this afternoon. So, yep. listen, stay tuned in. Y'all better go follow my boy on all social media platforms. All social media, streaming on all platforms. On all platforms. Uh, he's the new hot thing coming up. Uh, as an a and I'm telling you, that everybody better pay attention because I'm definitely paying attention. And uh, let's go. It's 
Let's go. Let's get it. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I go heavy on the beat, I am the acid that fills the belly of the beast, stole confetti at my feet, I'm a walker parade, where you make fire, come out the pen of talking grenade, rap game like Circus Olay, bunch of clowns doing crazy shit, killing them, throwing dirt in their grave, my chick be squirting for days, I'm thurping away, Bronx. upon us.
the world is upon us. these migas are working for Travis Scott, 21 Savage or Taylor Swift. These unicorns wear the pinkest panthers along with Quavo. Take off and offset. Locked in the panic room, six with Ogmaco. Right now we're out of here before they send more bacon. Wait, I am 007, the new one. Wait, Bond, James Bond. Oh, you sound like a woman. Everybody knows the real 007 is black, not a pale puke like you. 006 reporting for duty. Cop Island terminated in just three minutes. Wiring, breaching rams, all targets in sight. Target neutralized. 008, Green God, come with us. Check your heartbeat sensors. 008, P1 or Green Lambo, your choice.
no pipe. One bitch got wet as puddles. I schooled them on the hotel lobby. A lot of rich niggas want to cuddle, so I let them handle it. I took all that cash, industry planted it. Hair done, nails done, everything did. I make big money, now nigga, I'm a pimp. Use a pussy fiend, a chili bean. I don't know one bitch on your team. I don't chase a broad, cause like Wu-Tang taught me, it's all about cream. Cheap ass burritos and nacho supreme. But we all know steak and onion and peach lemonade is my thing. It never be good as I, so what? Please don't dream. Bitch, roll me a blunt, send it my way, and we all gon' stunt, nigga, I'll...